What's going on guys? Clutch here. Welcome back to your Mod Hub update for Farming Simulator 19. Today is Friday. We've got, well, we've got four new mods and as well we're going to be talking about mods in testing. So we'll look at these uh, these four new mods that have been released in the Mod Hub for Farming Simulator 19. All these mods are for all platforms actually which is fantastic. So console, PC, Mac, uh, Xbox and PlayStation all have access to these mods. And then we're going to look through the list of mods that are currently in testing. So let's get into this guys. Bitter patter. Clutch simulations. All right, so let's start over here on the far side. This is the FS19 Sheep Husband Tree Placeable mod. It is, well, a sheep paddock. As you can see, it holds 120 sheep. We've got a couple in there already. Uh, I believe it costs you about 65 bucks a day. So your placements on this, here is the uh, the purchase point or the drop-off point for your sheep. It's a nice little ramp, actually. That's kind of authentic. The gates do work. Uh, that one doesn't, mind you. But this one here does. And like all the way through here, yeah, these gates do work. Very cool. Um, you have water over on the back side here. So this is your water station kind of over here. And on this side is where your wool will show up right here. Now, there is no obvious spot for feed. However, if you go inside, anywhere inside the shed itself is a, uh, a drop-off spot. So you can see here, I'm just inside. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Your sheep are fed. Kind of funny looking the way it sits up against that, I guess, but I guess that's somewhat authentic. There we go. Awesome. So that is Sheep Husbandry FS09, actually, is who's the name of that one. And up next, we have a piece of forestry equipment, the Routine F20D. This is uh, 340000 to 350000 depending on which options you go with. Some of the options, you have one option for um, an engine upgrade. You have engines uh, options for various chains, as always with this style of equipment, guys. Yeah, it looks good. Now, if we jump inside, which I was a struggle with this one. Let's see here. Let me in. Can I, can I come in somehow? I know you want to let me in. There we go. So you do have options to, well, swap the, uh, or open the back of the forwarder up. So you can see here to make life a little bit easier, you can shrink and open that up. As well, you can just change your diving position, which is kind of cool. You can go inside. Now you're looking in reverse and you can actually see your crane. That's neat. I like that. Uh, as well, I should mention your, your camera views. Uh, you have three different views. So we just swapped there actually to reverse view. You have left and right crane view, and then back to the regular third person. Switch us back around again. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, the controls seem lacking at the front here. I think they're missing something, but I don't know if it's the pedals need to be more. It just seems like it's missing a little bit, but not bad still. We'll get out in front of there. All right, so you do have, like, this, obviously the crane is normal for what you'd expect. Um, everything else is somewhat standard on that. Let's take a quick look at this one of the stores just so we can take a look at the uh, different chain options. So the chains are somewhat dependent on tires, of course. If you go with the Nokians, you don't have any options for chains. Uh, but if you go to the also, I cannot pronounce that. If you go with the other tires, you get some options. Uh, you have the Pro Grips, obviously, Evos, and yeah, that's it there. For just front or just rear, of course, either as well. So if you uh, start with base, you're at 340,000. I believe you can get up to 350,000 with all in. So the engine will give you an extra 40 horsepower as well. You go from 280 to 320 horsepower. So 340 to, to uh, $350,000 for this unit. Also released today was the Metal Tech DB package. Uh, this is a package that consists of several different trailers, such as this one here, different configurations. So it goes all the way down actually to the DB6. This is the DB8 right here and goes up to the DB20 premium. This one is just the DB20. However, the options are a little bit lacking in comparison to the DBL package we received yesterday. So it's a little bit confusing. Um, there's no color options or anything along those lines. You just have a few options on size and to add, for instance, this metal grate up on top there. Uh, and of course the topper. They do still have the hitch on the rear, but there's no other real options as far as colors go. Um, and even the wheels seem to be lacking a little bit from what I remember from the uh, Metal Tech DBL package from yesterday. So here's the DB8 and the DB20 for examples, but there's a slew more. So let's go into the store and take a quick look. So here you can see some of the uh, the starting ones. So the DB6, the DB8, starting price is 8,500. If we go into it, you can see our options are uh, somewhat similar to what we had yesterday. However, no tire options and no color options. Just be aware of that. Um, there is, however, a change color or an option for, for patterns. Uh, there's two different selections for that. It's like an older pattern and a new pattern, I guess. 
Um, as we move up, you can see the prices kind of go up. The size goes up, obviously, with that. And then we get eventually up into the DB20 where we're getting up into uh, the double rear axle. So in the DBL package, you only have the 8, the 10, and the 12, I believe. So we're all the way up from the 14 to the 20 and the 20 premium now. And if you get up to the premium, this is what you're going to get. You can see, I'm not sure if there's much of a difference between the DB20 and the DB20 premium in my mind. They look very similar. But anyways, um, if you go with the screen, you obviously can't have a roof. But if you wanted a roof on it, oh, there you go. You can have that. So you're going to max out around 35000 bucks. Um, yeah, that's the DB, the DB package, guys. We already have a bunch of these. We got a bunch more now. It's always good, but man, we got a lot of these in store now. And last of all, you have the DPW210BL. Guys, this thing is awesome. Uh, fantastic mod. Really happy to have some use out of this trailer. So this is the base trailer, essentially. Only this one is an auto loader. Looks great too. Look at that. So you do have options on this trailer for color. So we don't need to go with a green. We can go with any color, the base game colors you would like. And as well, of course, you have options to add a trailer hitch. This one does not have it on. This one here, of course, it does. So you can actually uh, tow multiples of these. They both work very well. Let's go take a quick look at this here in the store just so you can look at the options. So you have the round and square bale variants. Now you'll also notice that the rounds will hold 26 bales. Squares only 24 bales. Interesting. 26 and 24, they are both $26,000. If we go into the to the uh, product itself, you can see we can change the colors of this to whatever we see fit. Rim colors can also be changed. There we go. Uh, attachers, that is the rear trailer hitch we already talked about. And wheel setup, you know, wides or standard. So with all options selected, you're looking $27,300 for this unit. So let's, uh, let's test this out and see how she works, shall we? So I believe it should open or work from either side it does not matter unlike some of the other auto tra load trailers where you need to be hooked up to the correct side all you need to do is put it in the operating position and it'll grab the bales it goes by wow look at that so that there will be our round bales boom and we can close that down now so we only have 24 that can hold 26 round bales so we're still short two round bales on them look at that that is fantastic there's a reason to use the round bales right there. And then we will go over to our square bales, which I've got kind of stacked back on this side here. And once again, we have to open this up. And let her buck. Nice. And then we can close that out. Perfect. So that's actually really slick. Now, in order to uh, unload these, this is very similar to uh, is it the 120, I believe, the Flegel 120 trailers. You just kind of figure out the spot you want to put it in, open it up, and put it in your unloading position, and you can just drop it off. Oh, I say that. There we go. And it just drops it down like that. So that is uh, that is it, guys. That is the, the auto load trailer. This thing is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Very nice looking trailer for sure. And to finish off the week, of course, we've got to talk about mods in testing. So let's start off near the top here up with the PC section. We're looking at uh, Auto Load, which or Auto Drive, which was updated today. Driver X GHH 2200 and a 20, PS 27, 2070 HD, both in testing still. The Flegel DPW 180 Auto Load. It's an update for that trailer, still in testing. We got the JD 1210 and the 1170Gs. Those are both Force 3 equipment, still in testing. Uh, as well as a piece of forestry equipment, the Komatsu 951. Got line from manure spreader. We got the Tumo San 8105 tractor. And of course, Welker Farms map, still in testing. Oh, hope it makes it through. If we move down into the console section, you can see we got the base transceiver station. We got the cow shed, the Flegel DPW210 bales. That one was released today, guys. The Flegel large capacity shovels. The FS09 Sheep Husbandry released today. Hugenstahl, Jens Hem 583Z. That one there is a wood chipper. Metaltech DB pack released today. Multi Grabber, Osina Map, FDC FS19. The Rotan F20D was released today. Silage Wheel Loader Fork. Uh, the Pacific Northwest 19, still in testing. Come on, get through. I'm waiting for you. 
X modding bag lifter, Zedor Crystal 12045, that is a small tractor again, and Zunhammer SKE pack. Currently, mods waiting to be tested is at 4, 54, and we're up to five weekdays now for your average time for newly submitted mods. So that is going to wrap up your Mod Hub update for Friday today. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Maybe get started that barbecue season. I think it's time to uh, get outside a little bit now, isn't it? Anyways, that's going to do it for us today. Hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, make sure you drop a like for me. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already done so. And we'll see you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.